What's going on YouTube? Cloverbells here back with another Scarlet Violet video and today we're hopping back into the ranked ladder to showcase a very very popular uh, archetype at the moment and that is this Zapdos Sylveon Hisuian Arcanine team and if you don't know about this six this is the same six that won the world championships from the seniors division. Now before I get people excited uh, in terms of like you know oh finally the rental codes out this is not that team all right this is only a rendition of it because it was made by another viewer of the channel his name is Aaron and funny enough he is also a senior and he's a very very accomplished senior he's won two regionals and he's you know uh, also placed in top eight and top four uh at the 2022 world championships as well as EU IC 2023 so Aaron's a very very accomplished player in that right and he made this rendition of that same six that uh, won the world championships this year for the senior side and he posted a rental and I said you know what I want to feature this uh, in a video because if you go on certain online tours uh, on Limitless you know there's a lot of people using the same six and using their own EV spreads and their own uh, sets of course so you know Aaron made his own and I figured you know what since he saved me a lot of time let's feature it on the channel uh, and you know some other cool Pokemon in the Steam of course is uh, the Gastrodon which is something that you know I wanted to use uh, in regulation d just because of its niche uh role within the meta especially against uh you know of course uh urshifu surging strikes uh but then it gets some other cool support moves like you know yawn and then sustainability like recover in that sense uh and then the rel the rest of the team is just relatively standard in terms of like you know you get your hisui and arcanine rillaboom and urshifu your firewater grass core and then zapdos able to provide the team you know with tailwind support uh, and then Sylveon, as opposed to Fluttermane, is always an interesting choice. You know, you do get a, a, a fairy type on the team that's a special attacker. Um, Sylveon is slower, but it is a little bit bulkier than the Fluttermane. So you have that going for you. And uh, this is a choice spec Sylveon. Uh, so, you know, you're, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. But uh, you have the Intimidate support, as well as the Tailwind support to allow Sylveon to do well. As well as, you know, the rest of the team can appreciate both of those things uh, that are present on the team. So, folks, you know how this goes. Um, you know, we're just gonna hop on into the rank ladder. Hopefully we can get some wins uh, with Sylveon here as well as the rest of its friends So without wasting any further time, let's just go straight into the rank battles All right, playing pops. All right, this one is the the Champau Landris thing, but I don't know which variation this is, right? So That's the other thing. I think it's gonna be Terra Ghost Champau rather than Terra Flying uh so what is it? One, two. We could get the advantage with Tailwind with Zapdos. Even the Arcanine looks pretty good here as a lead, potentially. All right. <clears throat> Billaboom. Here, well, we could do this. All right. Intimidate support. Do we want to bring it actually? I see a lot of things that are weak to Sylveon. <laughs> Alright, that, that's that's my main thing. I see a lot of things weak to Sylveon. Especially specs damage. Let's bring in Arcanine here. And then in the back, do we bring the Gastro? I think we do, right? Because we have Ice Beam. That's good against Landorus. Try this. Could do something against the Iron Hands too. So... Let's see if the Gashadon can come in clutch here, especially if he leads Urshifu. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how he plays this. Alright, what is this? It is Iron Hands. Ooh, that's a very good lead. Uh, the Amoongus is annoying. The Amoongus is very, very annoying. I would love to hurricane it. I would absolutely love to hurricane it. I don't know if, th if this is going to be enough. Uh, I would also love to just blast it with, with just like choice specs hyper beam and remove it. Right? You know, like literally force it. But the thing is heavy slam pressure. Right? So maybe this is just not it. Maybe I go into the Arcanine here. But then he go falls asleep. But at least I get to intimidate the, the Iron Hands here. <clears throat> This is the problem. He's clicking Spore. Could, does he? I think he's forced to click Rage. Let's see. Maybe fake out Spore. Let's see. I don't know. It's a tough call. Yeah. Fake out there. Alright. Fakes out the Zapdos. Alright. Does he Spore the Zapdos? 
dodge. He spores the zappers. Okay. So there's that. Not much I could really do about it. Okay. So I could have blasted him with the Sylveon. Right? So I don't get that chance. But I do get the Arcanine. So I do have that going for me. Um, that being said, I, there's not much I can really do here. What is this? This is Terra Poison. It does have Drain Punch potential. Uh, I do have Terra Blast, Terra Fairy. That could be also a thing. But the uh, Moongus can just literally protect. I don't know. This one's tough. Yeah, I, I don't really have a whole lot. Let's just do it. Let's just do it anyway. Let's see how much damage this does. Like, for me, I, I feel like the Moongus just clicks... Spore. <laughs> Because he knows I can't kill the anything here. He might even just switch out the iron hands here. Could even click protect. But we'll see what he decides to do. Yeah, there's just a rage powder. That's this that's the smart play. Alright, I could have he this is definitely drain punch. Right. Drain punch. But we'll see how much damage this does. Alright, blast turn that, that did like no damage, of course. Uh, but at least I get, let's see what, if this is Drain Punch, then that's good for me, in a way. Yeah, it is just Drain Punch. Okay. <clears throat> so, there's that. Alright, now, Zapdos, you're gonna have to, like, wake up and hit this Hurricane. Because <laughs> Heavy Slam is gonna hit the Arcanine, and it's gonna do a lot of damage. But! Alright, maybe we can KO the Amoongus first. Let's see. It did take some chip damage. There's the Rage Powder. Question is, do we live Heavy Slam? All right, here's the flavors. Can we even kill this first? Okay, we do kill that, so that's good. <clears throat> that's the main thing. Zapdos waking up here would be a plus. All right. So let's see what the result is. Zapdos stays asleep, so that's two turns. All right, now, is this, this is probably just Heavy Slam. Oh, it's Wild Trap, okay. That did not KO, so we get to preserve the Arcanine a little bit here. We have E-Speed Potential. Alright. Uh, let's see what this is. Pops is bringing something else out here. It is the Landorus. Okay. Um, Landorus is fast. Alright, this is where I do need the Tailwind support from the Zappy. Uh, Arcanine, you're gonna have to... Do I... I think I just let it die. Right? And then just get some chip damage here, of course. Um... Because I don't even know if that Landris is fast. So we'll just do it like this. A little bit of chip. Alright, he switches. That's fine. Okay. I would love if, if Zapdos woke up here. We really, really need the Tailwind here. <clears throat> Tailwind would be amazing. Zapdos does wake up. Zapdos does get up the Tailwind. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's good. Even if Zapdos goes down here, that's that's totally fine. Alright. Oh, Stompy Tent. Oh, that's fine. Alright. Yeah, we didn't need the Arcanine anymore. That was okay. That's fine. So we didn't need that. All right, the Arcanine did its job. It took out the Amoongus. Okay. Uh, we do have Gastrodon here. So that's another plus here. You can Ice Beam that Landorus and then just deal like a bunch of chip damage against the Fluttermane here with Thunderbolt, especially if it deals like Terra Water. Okay, so that, that, this is an easy play. And he can even swap it for Iron Hands, which is totally fine. I don't... I don't necessarily hate that play. And then, even then, next turn we could just, you know... Um, like, if this is Terra Water Landris, which I expect it to be, then, alright, sure, then we still have Zapdos potentially, right? I would imagine Protect comes out here, maybe even a Switch, but we do get the Tailwind, so that's nice. So, yeah, he has to, right? So that's good. This is probably into the Iron Hands here. Okay. So, this is probably just scouting just to see if I had Ice Beam. Does Terra, alright? Is this Terra Fairy, though? That's the question. It's Terra Grass. Ooh, it's Grass. Okay, this is that, Fluttermane. Ooh, what if I hurricane that slot? That's very risky. What if I hurricane that slot? Okay. All right. Oh, bro. He's he's running this Fluttermane. All right. Yeah, see, there's no way... Oh, he even gets a crit. He could have killed three Gastrodon. There's just no way of me knowing 
right? Without open team sheets. So this is the unfortunate part about ladder. I think we might even just lose because of that. And he has fake out, right? And the Sylveon is specs. That's unfortunate. But we can. We do have a shot here. Because you can only fake out one. Um. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I think we just have to just go for the hyper voice here. That's just this is just our best play here. Um, in the grand scheme of things. Can only fake out one. He fakes out the Sylveon. Alright, Zapdos, you just need to really hit the turret. Okay. Now can we get confusion hits? Oh, we just remove it. Oh, that's fine. Oh, that's a free kill. Okay. Alright. Oh, hey, Zapdos. That's good, that's good. We're not out of this yet. Not out of this yet. We do have the fairy pressure. Alright, and it is Landorus coming out here. Landorus did take some chip damage. The Intimidate is not going to matter here, of course. Um. Okay. Return of the tail. One turn. I think the biggest threat is, of course, the, the Iron Hands here. So we have to literally just do it again. Alright. Hurricane does connect. That's great. That's very good. Oh, that's enough damage. Can Sylveon pick up? This is Specs. Does pick up. Oh, that's very good. Should be fine. I don't know if Stomping Tantrum picks up here. Did that one turn of terror. So, let's see if this case. Potentially. Does it. Okay. So, now we just... We do have to rely on a, on a not-so-accurate Hurricane. But, this is still our best play. 2 on 1 scenario. Tailwind does peter out. So he would probably just have to hope for a hurricane misses, and then he just clicks rock slide. Never mind, we're just faster anyway. So that's a slow landers. Okay, Zapdos, you pick up. <laughs> Alright. So Terra Grass, Energy Ball, Fluttermane. One up the Gashanon, but that's okay. We still had enough to deal with whatever else he had. Ooh, we've got Garchomp, Scizor, and Hydreigon. Hydreigon! I haven't seen that thing since like Regulation B. So it's very interesting to see that here again. All right, we already know like Tornado Scar Chomp stuff. That's probably like Tailwind Earthquake. And then you can also Earthquake Nest Hydrating. We understand that. Sylveon actually has a decent matchup here because there's <coughs> a couple of Fairy Reeks here. So, uh, question is, do I just simply lead the Zapdos? I, I definitely want to bring the Arcanine for sure. Cause that that will do great against like torn champion and stuff i think that might be the way to go and then save zapdos in the end game so what about this um arcanine <clears throat> and what about like literally just the sylveon here you know just as a lead you know against three things that could be weak to it and then we'll bring zapdos in the end game and then <sighs> is it i don't think we want gash on here i don't think it does you know that great is it Ursh or is it Rilla? Um, I think we'll just go with the Urshifu. Try like this. We'll leave the Rillaboom behind. I don't... doesn't seem too great into something like this, so... We'll see if the Intimidate support plus the Sylveon uh, lead can get the upper hand on our opponent here. <clears throat> I think the Arcanine is going to have pretty good value here. Alright, so let's see what comes out here. Scizor and Fluttermane. All right, those are the two things that are not affected here, except for the Scizor. So Bullet Punch, not great. <clears throat> All right, and this is probably Speed or Special Attack. All right, Special Attack, not great, but it's something. Bullet Punch is also not super great either. Um, we don't have excellent switches. We do have the Zapdos, actually, so I think we'll just go for that. Um, I could also just not care about the scissor and just blow this Fluttermane up into next week. I could do literally do that, and he might even switch the scissor anyway. He could protect the Flutter, that's a play, uh, but we'll see. Let's get the Zapdos in. Alright, so we'll not suffer at the hands of Boulder Punch here, even though I think we can actually live it, just because he is intimidated. <clears throat> Alright, he actually did go for the Bullet Punch. Holy cow. Alright. All right, and there is a Shadow Ball. This shouldn't do a whole lot because we do have the Assault Vest here. All right, did about half 
do get a special defense reduction, which is, is it not all that great, but if we can get the KO, that'd be very, very good, which we do. I don't think the crit necessarily mattered. It might have, but that's a good KO that we can pick up there. Uh, now, we do have to withdraw the Arcan right here. I would love to get Sylveon back here in position. I don't think he bullet punches this. He could, maybe. And I definitely don't want to be taking that, but um, we'll see. All right, what comes out here? Uh, it is the champ out. I definitely want to intimidate that again. I might even have to be forced to tear the, Zap the Zapdos here. So it's a tough call, right? Do I literally give him the Ursh? I think I have to give him the Ursh and probably just tear the Zapdos here. This is water, so that's going to help a lot. Um, these things have priority moves anyway. But like, does it really matter in the grand scheme of things? Let's just do it anyway. I still need the Zapdos to out potentially outspeed. Makes me think, should I just have clicked, like, you know, Thunderbolt? But we'll see. Alright, um, we do Terra here, and again, I just don't want the Zapdos to die here. So Terra Water Zapdos looking really good here against like the Ice and the Steel move. But yeah, Let's see what he does here. I would imagine just Bullet Punch into the Arcanine slot. Maybe thinking he can KO, but I don't think that would KO anyway. Sacred Sword, Urshifu does live. Alright, we do get the Tailwind off, so that's nice. Alright, and it's just a U-turn, okay. So, Scissor being recycled. That did quite a bit of damage. Alright, I might even have to protect the Urshifu here. But we'll see. It's Gar Chomp. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we'll protect Urshifu. We, we don't want to lose everything here. But at the same time, it's just like... I can Sucker Punch you. We'll, we'll do it like this. I can just T-bolt this, break the sash. Ideally. Let's see if he protects. Ideally, he should protect and just attack the chomp. We'll see. Ah, uh, it's actually just a sucker punch. Okay. So we get this right, I would imagine. So a little bit of Thunderbolt action here. Uh, breaking the sash, which is nice. And it's just Rock Slide. That could miss. Alright. That could miss. And it doesn't miss. So Zapdos should be able to take one. So that's good. And he gets us into Citrus, so that's also very good. Alright, and now what we do is... We actually... actually want to switch out back into Sylveon here and exert more pressure. And then, from here... I could Thunderbolt, I could even Roost. But, <clears throat> let's see if he protects here. Alright, I'm trying to make this call. See how he answers. The 50-50 has to make. Does he protect or does he go for it, right? But I'm preserving the Arcanine here. So the Intimidate is going to come in handy if I can just trap the Garchomp here, right? Or even the Chen Pao. But here we go. Sylveon here. Yep, he went for it again. That's good. So that means Zapdos is going to pick up the KO against the Chen Pao. Very, very important because that's where a lot of the physical damage is going to come from. All right. And this is probably just Rock Slide again. So, um... All right, here comes, yet again, the Scizor. Okay, so what we can do is we can't really click the Fairy move yet, all right? I think we, this is where we do get the Arcanine back in, all right? And Zapdos, what we can do is literally just boost up, heal up a little bit, all right? So get some Intimidate, reposition here, give him the Arcanine this time, all right? And just click boost. He might even just click protect. Who knows? Alright, there is the bullet punch here. So, Arcanine does go down here. That's okay. Um, and we do get to Rusev. So, that's also pretty good here. Get some HP back. Alright, and my Tailwind is running out here. Alright, my Tailwind Peter's out. So, we'll go back into Ursh. I would like to click the Tailwind button again. Alright, I don't know if he's going to let me, but I'm going to try. Alright, and... 
We'll protect the Ursh here. All right, yeah. Because he saw me protect Bunts. I wonder if he makes that call. Um, It's close, right? We can sucker the Scizor. I think we'll just protect it here and just try for the Tailwind again. Because the Sylveon's going to need it anyway. We'll protect Ursh. The main threat is the Scizor, of course. That's the one we need to KO. Garchomp is not so threatening to the Sylveon. Because, you know, we are a fairy type after all. All right, there is the Rock Say. Does... Oh, well, that's Protect. Right, he could get the flinch. Oh. Alright, hopefully he doesn't. Intimidate doing great damage. Alright, we do get the Tailwind. That's good. That's very good. Alright, uh... Now... The problem is... The Bullet Punch, right? That's just gonna do too much damage there. So what I'm gonna have to do is just try and for the Sucker. And then literally the Thunderbolt here. I hope that, try that can KO. I don't know if it can. We're gonna find out, of course. So, some damage. Black glasses. That's pretty good damage. Alright, there's the bullet punch. Alright, Urshiku does go down. I would love to trap the Garchomp here at minus one if I can pick up this KO. Alright. Tap this Thunderbolt. It's gonna be close. Ah, not enough. And there is the Rocks. A single target, too. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't think Sylveon's gonna be able to take this. The problem... Is of course, the, uh, maybe maybe we can do. It. Actually, let me see how much bulk is on this on here. Is it bulky enough? It's got some bulk. I don't think that's enough after one and two, right? Especially if this is something like Bandit Scissor. I don't know. We're gonna try. Hyper Voice would do a lot of damage here. Um, I am gonna Thunderbolt here anyway. Uh, actually, I am gonna go for the Roost. Let's go for the Endgame potential here. Alright, so Bullet Punch. Can Sylveon live this? It's gonna be... Oh, we do live! Oh, that's huge! That's huge. The Intimidate support really, really helps now. And we should outspeed this Garchomp because... Actually, is it max speed Garchomp? It is max speed Garchomp. The Sylveon still lives! And we get off the Hyper Voice. Oh my goodness, Sylveon lives, man. The Intimidate support from Arcanine really helped a lot. That's good. The, the Sylveon was only made to outspeed Chiyu and the, the Garchomp was, uh, was max speed anyway, so... Living on two! Alright. That, that, that was close. Okay, this is Federico's Cresselia or Saluna team. <clears throat> At least it's the same six. And I still don't even know this. Is. I just know it's his six because this is the uh, same six that he made for his squad. So, how do we want to deal with Trick Room? We do have Gashanon with like Yawn, but is it going to be enough? The Intimidate is going to be somewhat useful here. But the problem is we have to survive ground type attacks on the Ursula. Not super great. I think Rillaboom is also important here. Same with the I think we have to use the Gashrod on here. In a way. Um let me check something here. I speed the earth power. Okay. Pretty good. I think he just protects. How does he want to play this? How does he want to play this? I'm not entirely sure. I think what I'll do is I'll leave Billaboom and I'll leave Gashadon. Then we'll bring in this in the back. And I think we bring... Actually, I should, probably should have just let Ursh, but we'll bring Ursh in the back. Zapdos, Sylveon behind, so <clears throat> all the physical attackers get to come to this game. More or less. But we'll see how this ends up being. But I'm not sure if this is the correct ring. We'll see. Is it just simply Crest Ursa Luna is my question. Or does he lead something else? Is it Iron Hands Cresselia? What if that is it? Yep. Oh, it's Iron Hands Fluttermane. Okay. Um, so now the question is, is this Terra Grass Fluttermane, right? Uh, but we do have this going for us. The problem is this is drum beating. I I much rather prefer the Woodhammer man. I gotta be totally honest. Um Yeah, this is not super great whatsoever. We have the Arcanine in the back. Mmm We could fake out this thing.
is drum beating this. And let's literally Earth Power over here. Okay, fake out one. Swaps that. All right, what's taking the Earth Power? Is it Cresselia? It's probably Cresselia. Let's see. Oh, it's Ursh. Ursh takes the Earth Power. Shadow Ball. Okay. Do we live this? We do. All right. Drum beating. Speed control. Okay. Oh, wow. Is that Sash? That looks like Sash. It's not. It just lives on one. Drum beating Rillaboom. Oh, we get a crit. Uh, question is, do we get speed on the Flutter? Hold on. Let me check something. I didn't see if I missed it. No, I didn't see any. So we didn't get any Protosynthesis boost. All right, now here's my next question. 109, that's way too slow. What? Why do we have drum reading if this is, okay. Um, that's not great. Might be enough though. I think what I'll do is I'll still pressure this slot either way. Actually, let's do this. Let's do... Let's do this. And then we'll just Earth Power this slot. Let's try that. Okay, that's why I, I went for this. Because I figured he might try that. Okay. So, there's the Wicked Blow. We are going to lose the Gastro here. Oh, we don't lose the Gastro. Okay. Alright, so then we just pick up here. Right, drum beating Willow might even just pick up. Yes. Okay. That's good news. That's good news. And we get a little bit more recovery off of our Gastrodon here. Okay. And he doesn't know that we have Protect yet. <clears throat> okay. I'm very I'm very surprised that this Flutter Man is alive. But it's, it's doable. Still doable. All right. Flutter Man 1 HP. What is this? It is once... Oh, it's Dragonite. Okay. Uh, okay, that's still fine. I still want to click drum beating over here just to try and get rid of this. And we can protect the gas right here just in case he wants to click E speed here. Protect, he stays in. So is this aerial ace? Or does he double the, the Rillaboom here? Oh, it's just Gleam. Okay. He didn't click, he didn't click the E speed. Probably didn't need to because he outspeeds. All right. Faster than Dragonite. So we do get to pick up the Flutter, which is good news. This is good news. I kind of wish I had the Sylveon now because we have something for the Dragonite. So it's Dragonite and the Iron Hands. Okay. Oh, okay. He went for the. Okay. So there's that. Um. All right, Gastrodon, you're you're doing something. All right, we do have this. All right, I don't want to get faked out yet. Okay, so let's bring in the Urshifu first. So we'll protect first, right? Because he has Aerial Ace. He's locked into that, potentially. All right. Might even just fake out the Gastro here. So let's protect first and switch out the Gastro for the Arcanine. I don't know if this is correct, but I'm going to go for it anyway, just because. All right. And if he's locked into Aerial Ace, that means he's not locked into E Speed. So there's that. Alright, so we get some Intimidate on this Iron Hands, just in case he goes for the Fake out here, which I do expect. Alright, there's the Inner Focus, of course. Protect Ursh. Alright. And there is. Yep, there's the Fake Out. He went into the Ursh slot. Does that mean, did he Aerial Ace the slot? Let's see if it, it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, he went into the Gashadon. Okay, so we live to tail that tail, and we get a little bit of recovery for our needs. So now we have all the speed that we want. Who's in that? It's Gastro. It's not very. F Actually, how much speed do you have? I want to know. 59. That? No, that's not going to help. Okay, uh, I do think we have to take out this thing. So. Did he... I don't think he Terra, did he? Did he Terra? I wasn't paying attention. 
All right, we'll Wicked Blow anyway. We'll try and get the crit. And we'll just click Rock Slide. Try it. <clears throat> okay, now he Terra's. Is this Terra flying? Let's see. Oh, he Terra the Iron Hands. Into Terra Water. Okay. Well, the question is, does he have, does he have Terra Blast? All right. Uh, so we miss Rock Slide somewhere. Okay. I kind of want the... Okay, that's the one we needed to hit. So that's good. All right. And here's the Wicked Ball. Good. So the Dragonite doesn't get to attack. So now it's a three-on-one scenario. I would imagine this is literally just Drain Punch into the Urshima. That's what I think. And it is Drain Punch into the Arcanine. Oh, okay. He Drain Punches the Arcanine. Maybe thinking Flare Blitz was going into that slot. Okay. So... What I want to do now is I do actually want to cycle. So I might lose the Gashon in the process, but like, sure. Let's protect here and let's give him the Gastro and he'll at least he'll take some Rocky Helmet chip in the process. Oh, Paddle was counted. Hey man, I'll take it. I think that was still winnable, right? It, maybe. It would have been a little bit more interesting. All right, folks, and there is the rental code for this rendition of the world championship winning team from the seniors division aaron again another seniors player uh was the creator of this one so shout out to aaron again great job uh i was more impressed overall with like sylveon's bulk especially with the arcanine intimidate support was able to survive quite a few hits uh in our game so that was relatively nice the urshifu um it was all right it was relatively solid and then the rillaboo i i had a love-hate relationship with john beating there uh but you know, fake out pressure, and it was still a strong grass move, but still overall okay. Zapdos uh, was also good when it needed to be good, and again, Gashadon, uh, in, you know, places here and there was was okay. Like, we did get surprised by, you know, Terra Grass, Energy Ball, Flutter. I mean, if I knew that, if I knew that he had that, I wouldn't have brought it, but this is the joy of ladder, of course. All right, so there it is, folks. Uh, let me know how you do. If you do try out this team, we'll be back with another video in the next one, guys. Peace out, and have a good one.